Hello friends, you are watching the YouTube channel Online Biology Lectures 2020. My today's topic is antigens and immunogens. You know that immune system plays role in uh, providing resistance against infection by uh, by identifying the foreign particles like toxins or any kind of infection. Immune system keeps the record of every germ it has ever defeated so it can recognize and destroy it again. What are the antigens? Antigens are the substances that are present on the surface of the virus, bacteria or fungi. Immune system tries to recognize and destroy the substances that contain the antigens. Antigens are usually proteins or polysaccharides that bind to specific antibodies. Antigens are used to find and neutralize any potential harmful foreign substances that has entered into the cell. Macrophages, dendritic cells and B cells recognize these antigens. The receptors of the antigens that are present on the surface of B cells are called B cell receptors, whereas the antigen receptors present on the surface of the T cells are called T cell receptors. An antigen is a molecule that is capable of inducing an immune response on the part of the host organism. Though sometimes antigens can be the part of the host cell, that is in the case of blood group antigens. Antigens are classified into three types, that is exogenous antigens, endogenous antigens or autoantigens. So here first of all we will discuss about the exogenous antigens. As the name suggests, they enter the body and uh, start circulating into the body fluid. So they are not the part of the uh, part of the body or part of the cell. They are trapped by the antigen processing cells that is macrophages and dendritic cells. The uptake of these exogenous antigens is mediated by phagocytosis. The phagocytosis is done by bacterial viruses or fungi. So these foreign particles that is bacteria, virus or fungi are phagocytosed when they enter into the cells and they are recognized by the antigen processing cells in the body. The next type is the endogenous antigens. They are body's own cells or the fragments of the cells. They are processed by the macrophages and later on accepted by the cytotoxic T cells. The endogenous antigens may be xenogenic, autologous, idiotypic, allogenic. Here you can see different types of the antigens. Autogens are the antigens that are person's self antigens, for example, DNA, corneal tissues, etc. Allo antigens are the antigens that are found in different members of the same species, for example, red blood cells, antigens A and B, etc. Whereas heterophy heterophile antigens are the identical antigens found in the cells of different species, for example, dogs, horses, cats, turtle, and sheep, etc. Adjuvants are the substances that are non-immunogenic alone, but they enhance the immunogenicity of the of any added immunogen. So up till now we have discussed about the exogenous antigen that are that enters the body from outside and the endogenous antigen that are produced by the body itself or the fragments of the cell. The third type is the autoantigens. They are the proteins or complex of proteins like DNA or RNA. When a patient suffers from autoimmune diseases, usually these type of antigens are observed. Under the normal conditions, they are not targeted by the immune system. The immune system recognizes them as normal antigens of the body, but under certain genetic and environmental factors, they result in immunotolerance and are recognized. So up till now, we have discussed that antigens can be of two types, that is, the part of the cell or they come from outside the cell, and they, help, they are recognized by the antigen processing cells and then further destroyed. Now we are going to discuss about the immunogens. An immunogen is an antigen, any antigen that is capable of inducing humoral or cell-mediated immune response. What is humoral immune response that is active against toxins and free pathogens, whereas cell-mediated immune response does not yield any antibodies but generates T lymphocytes, etc. So the immunogen is any antigen that is capable of inducing humoral or cell-mediated immune response rather than the immunological tolerance. This ability of immunogenicity of immunogens is called immunogenicity. Sometimes the term immunogen is used interchangeably with the term antigen but keep in mind that only an immunogen can evoke an immune response. An epitope is an immunologically active region of the immunogen that binds the specific antigen on the antigen specific membrane receptors or to secreted antibodies. It is also called the antigenic determinant. So the antigenicity of the immunogen is determined by the epitope. I hope that today's lecture was informative. For more 
लेक्चर्स एंड अपडेट्स प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माई YouTube चैनल ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी लेक्चर्स 2020 थैंक यू